What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so this is a little bit different. This is me just gonna do a, a commentary over this video. Um, this video was a bit of a failure, I'm totally honest. I took the S1 out with a couple of full frame um, Canon lenses and I had the 70 200 f4 and the Tokina 70 35, which I'm just about to put on the camera now. I uh, went to Coidy Felon Woods with a friend of mine. I've never been here before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. A um, lot of woods, but a lot of really congested woods, uh, which made it quite difficult to find any decent composition um the light looked pretty good with a nice kind of post sunset light it wasn't too high in the sky the sun it was relatively low it got some decent side light and there were some nice spills coming through the woods uh you'll be probably be able to see now in a bit as soon as i uh stand up and stop blowing my filters <laughs> that's the thing with um being out and about is you know you're constantly wiping the bloody filters and blowing off uh, all types of bits of dust and whatever's lurking in the woods we can see the woods there it looks pretty nice on the osmo action the, the lights coming through quite nice nice side light but uh i wasn't really happy overall with these images if i'm totally honest um and I guess the reason why you're asking me probably would be, you know, why would you make this kind of video? My um, guess is because it's important to show you your mistakes and, uh, you know, everything's a learning curve. And uh, I think the, the takeaway from this video is to perhaps more kind of racky before you go out and shoot, you know, understand what it is you're, you're going to be or where you're going to be shooting um and if i were to go back i'd probably be more inclined to use more of a telephoto lens just to make things stand out a bit more um create a bit, a bit more depth as you can see in these images it looks a bit cluttered um there's not much in the way of a very obvious composition uh, there's not really a subject of sorts so I messed around with high resolution mode on the S1 and uh, yeah, that turned out okay. Uh, but again, I'm getting getting a lot of resolution of not a very good composition. So I <laughs> don't know what the fuck I was expecting. Um, you know, so I just, for some of I did just shoot your regular kind of uh, raw still rather than high resolution mode. Um, so I'm about to take my first shot. Any minute now. Just, there we go. This is actually, this is not high res. This has just got a 10 second timer, which is too long, uh, but I can be bothered going into the settings to change it to two seconds, so. Um. Punching in, checking focus. The issue with slow shutter uh, when you're doing the um, the preview, uh, when it's a slow shutter and you're zooming in and out or you're trying to get focus, it because it, it's a slow shutter, everything's bloody blurry and it's quite difficult to do. So a few times I had to kind of uh, ramp up the shutter speed and up the ISO just so I can get uh, focus easily without the, um, the the preview screen, uh, which obviously shows the settings you've inputted. Um, that was going all blurry because of the very slow shutter. So you see me swap, them, uh, swap back and forth. So here we go, this is the first image, just punched in. Yeah, the lights, Ugh. yeah. Just looks like a big <laughs> plot of green. <laughs> Uh, but there we go. Alright, on to the next. Uh, I still had a bit of um, optimism within me. 
So again, I was just trying to find where the light was, and as you can see here, it looks pretty good on the Osmo, but uh, again, I think it was probably down to the focal length choice. So trying to pick up the tree and get the light side light in the tree. And the unfortunate thing with uh, Cody fell in woods and I need to go back there to do more of an in-depth kind of look around was um, there's a lot of pathways there but once you go off the pathways into the woods it's very condensed and um, not a lot of obvious compositions but I didn't explore a great deal of it mine so I think perhaps to be fair I need to revisit with just a, a recce attitude in mind um, so again, to put a focus on the Tekina, which is a really nice lens. It's a F4, Canon EF4 frame lens. It's uh, one of the cheaper options to get if you're looking for that kind of 16 to 35 um, wide uh, focal range zoom. Uh, but I quite enjoy it. Decently sharp. Yeah, the light looks really nice there, but um, what you can see from the images yourself. And let me know in the comments down below, you know, are these, am I being too hard? Are they absolutely shit? Um, or there's this something there. And how would you tweak it? How would you, uh, how would you change? How would you, what would be your approach? Um, yeah, let us know in the comment section down below. Here we go, fuck ass around my tripod. And this one wasn't too bad. So I found like a, uh, a a little trail that led into the woods. And there was a tree that looks like it had fallen. But uh, it didn't fall all the way to the ground. It kind of, it's propped up by another tree. So it's like a, a diagonal kind of line. So I kind of used that diagonal line for, the, for a composition. Um, and of course the light was coming through quite nice as well. So... Uh, you can't really see it there because the Osmo action is pointing down, but um, out of all the images you're going to see, I think this is uh, the the, uh, the best, which is not saying a lot. Um, but again, in that quest for uh, composition, I think uh, <laughs> it was the best I could see on that morning. Using a Samti and uh, tripods, quite a cheap tripod to be fair. So quite the S1 setup was a bit too heavy for the ball head. So I think I need to buy a new tripod. This is my first kind of uh, woodland photography kind of photo. I guess I'm harnessing people like uh, Thomas Heaton and some of the great uh, landscape woodland photographer kind of photographers you find on YouTube. Um, and you know, they're really, really clever guys with a lot of skill. So, uh, and this proved to me it's not, it's not easy, not easy, but this is the image. You can see the trees kind of fall on there to the side, but uh, creating like a diagonal. Um, so I shot that quite low f f10, I think it was something like that. Just get that star sun look. So off again into the woods. A lot of dog walkers looking at me, thinking, "What the hell is this guy doing?" Any trip by yeah. You can see how condensed the woods is. It's just not a lot of clarity there, like in terms of finding a composition. 
Uh, I mean, I could have done a bit of macro if I thought in advanced, uh, but I think, yeah, if I was to go back again, probably more telephoto, maybe like a 50 mil or even an 85 mil, perhaps, just to kind of, you know, separate foreground from background. Um, I think when you have a lot of bushes and trees and green, it kind of all just blends into one. So my only hope really was just to look for light, you know, if light was hitting a tree or something, then, you know, that was my obvious choices that I, th I thought uh, in that morning. So I... As you can see here in a bit, there's uh, there's a tree. I've gone quite low down and the sun is hitting the side of the tree. And to my eye, it looked pretty decent. You can see the splash of light there going across the, the ground at the base of the tree. And I thought that looked quite cool. But again, what you see with your eyes doesn't always mean it's going to translate to a, a good photograph. And off again, into the fucking woods. At this point, I was a bit desperate. <laughs> At this point, I was a bit like, oh, for fuck's sake, what have I done? I'm stuck in the woods, getting fuck all here. So, um, I come across this cool looking tree. It wasn't clear though, it was stuck between this one tree on the left, on our left, and another on the right, you just see it there. So it was kind of framed by two trees and it had a quirky kind of shape. It kind of bended a little to the left and kind of sprouted up these three or four, almost like fingers. And the light was subtly hitting it too. And again, at this point being desperate, I thought, let's give it a whirl. Really trying to find a place for this tripod. <clears throat> I love the S1, it's such a great camera. Um, just love its build quality and just fantastic ergonomics. Really feels like a solid camera. So when you're out, out in the woods, you know, you don't fear dropping it or, or brushing past something. Or if there's any crackheads in the woods, use it as a weapon, even. <laughs> Could come in handy. So yeah, uh, just gonna focus on the tree, that bendy little tree. I think I shot all these with a ISO of 100. Um, try to keep the shutter speed down so I could have a deep depth of field. Which I was hoping would work and in post-production then I could see if it did or didn't work and uh, yeah, didn't quite, quite work. I don't know what I'm doing here, but uh, something's taking his time. There you go. I think I was doing, I think I did a high res mode image. And I did a normal J, um, normal raw 24 megapixel image too. But oh, here we go, there's the image, nice close up. Me, Maybe the light's not, not enough good light perhaps. Or maybe it's just a shit composition. So I'm at a next uh, location for the next image. A um, lot of um, bushes here. I don't know what the fuck they're called. I don't do a lot of woodland photography. So all these plants and bushes, I don't know the names for them. So 
it's thick bushes and then you've got like three trees sprouting up from them um so i decided to take pictures of or a picture of the three trees with the uh bushes uh, shrubbery whatever you want to call it surrounding it um and i think the light was predominantly hitting the tree in the middle which obviously caught my eye so just framing up this one And this might be a good location for some video, I think. Um, so going forward, I might return perhaps with a GH2 and some full frame Canon lenses. Uh, get some real telephoto uh, images, which might be quite cool for a video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Go, there's the image. Yeah. Right, guys, that's it from me. Uh, hope that was entertaining. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. It's always good to kind of put stuff out you're not too happy with and see if it's uh, you being a melodramatic twat or it's not actually good and find out reasons why i guess so any um any advice tips let me know um so yeah that's it for me thank you and goodbye